so this project is called uh, Gifted, and it's basically a project which looks at uh, genome mapping technology. Basically, that gives you data about yourself that could pertain to things like health risk, such as your predisposition to something as extreme as cancer or Huntington's disease. But Gifted really looks at essentially what children um, and new ideas that can come from other other people apart from just adults um, could be when it comes to ge genetic genome mapping technology. So this is a series of interviews initially with a group of um, six to eight year olds, uh, 16 to 18 year olds and then young adults. And it was from these conversations with uh, various groups that we decided to think about what genetic genome mapping technology could be in the future. So what you see here is um, a series of training tools and possible experiences for um, an oxygen gene. What if you could basically live with less oxygen? This is the question these children are asking. And they're basically creating imaginary fantasies and real ideas around this idea of the body being able to live with less oxygen. Would you be able to blow bigger bubbles than anyone else? Um, would you be able to swim deeper than anyone else without an aqua lung? So this is the, these are essentially dreams. These are our interpretations of people's dreams of what a technology dream could be like. But it's also saying that abilities don't come free. You have to actually invest in them, just like we invest in anything. Just like you play football, you train football, you play an instrument. This idea that genetics is some sort of magic uh, forecaster is, is not true. You essentially have to, if you're going to manipulate genes, you'd have to invest in them and question the ethics around that. If you're going to try and predict what might happen to you in the future, you're going to have to understand how you live and what the uh, cultural and contextual surroundings are within.